Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. We are on the move this morning. The girls had some swim practice early this morning. It's actually Ella's first week. Back. We were supposed to leave one minute ago, but it's fine because we give ourselves some leeway. Whenever Kate and I tell ourselves like what time we need to leave, it's always like 10 minutes early. That way, since we know we're gonna be a little bit late with the amount of children we have, then pretty much we're leaving on time. So we're not looking too bad right now. This morning, I got up early with the girls and got them changed. I did their hair. Um, yeah, I completely forgot I had to do their hair. I was like, oh, this is easy. I'll just get them changed, we'll get going. And I was like, oh wait, you have to have like a certain hairstyle for swim. I feel like this is our first like video, like normal vlogging since Avi's birthday party. And honestly, it's just so weird to me. Like it's so weird having a three-year-old. Like we have a four-year-old and a three-year-old. And then an almost one-year-old. So this is just crazy to me. And I feel like we're officially getting out of like the baby stage. Well, obviously we've been out of the baby stage for these two, but with the with Addy for sure. And it's kind of kind of sad I'm not gonna lie so um, anyways I gotta get these kids in the car and to swim nanny got AV this new scooter for her birthday and they have been riding it all around the house and honestly it's kind of it looks like it's kind of meant for indoor I'm not gonna lie so maybe, it's not maybe that bad when it's, maybe when it's summer we can ride it really the outside the daddy scooter yeah that's a good idea Okay, so I don't really think I explained like why I was getting the girls ready by myself. I'm not too sure exactly if Katie had a bad la night last night. Typically on days where her body kind of just like sleeps in and she doesn't really wake up like at her normal time where she wakes up. That's typically an indicator of she had a bad night because normally on bad nights, her body's like, wait, we need some more sleep. So she is actually still sleeping right now. And um, that's why I had to get all the girls ready. But obviously I'm not gonna wake her up. Like I am their father and I'm fully capable of taking care of them when Katie had an awful night with Addie. Are you excited to see your teacher again? There's something in my ear and I, and I can't hear. Really? Maybe open your mouth? I might pop it. Did that work? When I yawn, it pops. Oh, okay. Maybe you should try to yawn then. Avi, are you excited? She's been there for a week. Yeah, she's been there for a long time. She had, She didn't stop. But you played soccer, that's why we stopped. Hey you guys, ignore that pile of laundry, oh my word. I feel like in every video I'm like saying ignore this or ignore that, we just, there's a lot going on. Um, so, time to talk, time to chat about what's going on. I know a few videos back I posted about how um, there was just some stuff going on and that I would get to it later. I really wanted to get Avery's birthday videos up first. But this last week has been a lot, like it's been it's been a lot on me. It's been a lot on, like, our family, I guess you could say, but mainly just, like, me feeling overwhelmed and stressed and just having a lot of things happen and just noticing that my mental health is kind of going downhill right now. And one day after I'm out of this funk, I will be talking about some of the things that I'm going through. I just don't think it's a very appropriate time while I'm in the middle of going through it and you'll kind of understand what I'm saying here in just a second so a <laughs> we made a huge change today I have not breastfed Addie at all today it is almost five o'clock and um this morning Ben and I made the decision that I was going to basically stop breastfeeding um until she can take a bottle so if that means that I pick up breastfeeding her again and she can do both bottle feeding and breastfeeding that would be ideal and I hate saying this out loud because I just don't want it to be true and I don't want like to stop breastfeeding her but it's just what's best for me and for her mainly me though like I have to put myself first in this situation and I need to get better um I've talked about it a lot here on the vlog and I'm going to be pretty vulnerable here. I've talked about it a lot, but I'm very tired. I usually just make a joke out of it or make light of the situation and kind of keep going. Um, but it's gotten to the point where it's actually affecting me a lot and it's getting unhealthy for me to keep going with the amount of sleep that I'm getting, if that makes sense. 
I guess I don't really talk about it as much as I experience it because I just don't want our videos to be repetitive. I don't want to constantly be complaining about how tired I am. But it's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing that I'm working through. I had a very, very hard pregnancy with Addie and I have struggled for the past nine months to like keep it together and to keep going. And if you look up like the signs and symptoms and stuff that happens to you when you're sleep deprived, like it can be very, very scary. And there are a lot of things that happen mentally with your brain when it doesn't get enough rest and a lot of not a lot but like a few of those things i am experiencing and have been experiencing lately on top of having a very high stress week with avery's party and her birthday and just trying to make sure everything is perfect and everyone is taken care of dealing with this on top of it it's just kind of sent me over the edge a little bit and again i will be talking about very specifically what i'm going through right now once i'm out of it again i just don't think that it's appropriate right now to give you guys specific details about where I'm at and like the thoughts and stuff that is happening inside of my brain just know that like this morning we were like okay no more breastfeeding I really think that it's the root of the problem where she just doesn't want to sleep she only wants to sleep with me um won't eat any other food won't drink a bottle because she's breastfeeding and so today miraculously on the first try that we gave her a formula bottle she took it and that is because it is an answered prayer and I know that there are a lot of people praying for us out there right now just that she will eat something that's other than breastfeeding and the first time that she we tried to give her a bottle she took it and she drank three and a half ounces and it was the most exciting thing ever it was the best moment ever and if I can find it I'll insert footage of like Ben's reaction can see he was the one who was giving her a bottle and you know we have cameras all in our house and you can see the smile on his face he was so excited you can tell like it was just a big big moment for her to actually drink a bottle today has been kind of rough I haven't really been around Addie today because we're trying to get her to feel like she doesn't I don't know I just don't want her to like be around me and want to eat and then me feel guilty and want to feed her so I've been kind of occupying myself today rather than her on my hip all day long today. And she's done amazing. Like she has done a great job and I'm hoping that she will take a bottle and then we can breastfeed and bottle feed. And I know that this might not seem like a really big deal, but it is and you guys will understand one day because I am so incredibly sleep deprived that it's becoming extremely unhealthy for me to keep going. Like. I'm concerned for myself with the things that I'm experiencing and dealing with and the thoughts that I'm having and weird things that are happening that I'm like experiencing. It's hard to talk about but I just know that right now is not a good time because it's all happening like today and within this past week. So that will be that will be something that I'll touch on later after I've kind of recovered from this. I'm hoping that She'll take a bottle and within these next few weeks I can catch up on some sleep and start to feel better and more like myself. For all of those moms who are tired out there and you just want to keep going and say that you made it to a year of breastfeeding or if that is like a factor in your mental health is breastfeeding, don't do it. It's not worth it. Your baby, whether they are breastfeeding or bottle feeding, if they are fed, that is the most important thing and if breastfeeding your baby is affecting you or your sleep or your mental health don't do it like it's just not worth it it's not worth it so i'm finally letting myself say these things out loud and say that it's not worth the way that i'm feeling to give her breast milk she's been breastfed for 10 months of her life and that is the best that i can do and i need to put myself first now to allow myself to have rest and to recover from these past like two years almost of pregnancy and having a baby i'm ready to feel healthy and rested again so i know i'll be tired i'll always be tired because i have three kids but this is a different level of tired it is a very different level of tired i have not gotten a full i've maybe gotten one or two full nights sleep since i've had her in 10 months 
I usually wake up at least three to four times a night. So I'm, I've had interrupted sleep for the past very long time. It's been a very long time because I was heavily pregnant and uncomfortable before that as well. I've had interrupted sleep and sleepless nights for a very long time and it's time for that to change. So yeah, that's just the update on where we are. I am okay. I don't want anybody to worry about me. I am okay. I have talked to my dad. I have talked to my best friend. I have talked to Ben and I'm very open about the way that I'm feeling and the things that I'm experiencing. And I think that is a good thing to recognize it, to be honest with yourself and to make changes instead of holding it in and hoping that it'll go away, which is what I've been doing for a very long time. I'm finally being honest with myself, telling other people the way that I'm feeling and what I'm experiencing and getting help and Ben's helping me. He's been helping me all day long. He's been amazing getting her to take a bottle and getting her to sleep and so that I can finally get some rest. So yeah, that is the update over here. I don't know how much more we will be filming today. I think we're just going to kind of chill out and have a restful rest of the day. Maybe make some cookies, watch a Christmas movie. I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna go and hang out with my family downstairs and I I will get better, I will get better. And again, I don't want anybody to worry about me. I'm okay, I'm surrounded by people I love and there are a lot of people out that are around me that love me and that are praying for me and here for me. So yeah, I'll share more information about everything once I'm kind of through it because I do wanna bring awareness to how real this is like how real this can be so i love you guys thank you for always being here for us and we'll see you in our next video bye guys